Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Tuesday, the 13th of December, 2022, my final consecutive streaming day of the week. Let me get you up to speed on everything that happened today. First of all, the debut of a new noise-making device. This one was actually donated by the Dutch Brothers, one of their care packages that they sent me uh, recently. And I finally bought batteries to get it to work, and it works pretty good, although... I doubt I'll have use half of these. Like, for example, I'll probably never use this one. Because why do you need to do that when I can just do the real thing like I do, like, all day anyway? Right? But there's some other on here that are pretty nice. How about this one? Uh-oh! <laughs> uh, how about this one? Anyway, so, I messed with this on today's Level 1 podcast. But really, the meat of the Level 1 podcast today was the announcement of the games that are making it into the Christmas event and also the games that you guys are currently voting on for the Christmas event. So I don't really want to spoil. I, I want you to watch the Level 1 podcast. Please do. So, yeah, the members selected a game that will absolutely be played during the Christmas Marathon on December 23rd. And then there's five more games in the running that you guys are currently voting on. Um, on the main channel page of DSP Gaming under the Community tab, you just scroll down a few posts. It's right there. That, that'll be open right until the event. So, you know, about a week, week and a half. Um, for you to vote. And at least two of those games will make it into the Christmas Marathon, if time permits, perhaps a third. But the way I see it, we've already got the game the members chose. We've already got Disney Dreamlight Valley. We're already going to have two games from that poll that you guys are going to choose. We're going to have a Feasting with the King and a DSP Tries It. So with all of that, that's likely the entirety of the marathon. Plus, I'll be drinking, so I'll be sloppy, drunk, you know, slobbering all over the place and being very slow. So probably we won't have time for another game. But we'll see. So, please vote. Your vote very, very much dictates what we do during this event. I'm very happy to give you that power. Um, thank you to anyone who did nominate games over the last couple of weeks. I appreciate that. Good luck voting for whatever game will actually make it to the marathon. Okay? First stream today, gameplay segment, was a new game called High on Life from the makers of Rick and Morty. Um, same art style, although it's 3D. Same comedy style. Same commentary and dialogue in the game as if it were Rick and Morty, only it's not Rick and Morty. Like, this very well could take place in the Rick and Morty universe, but it just doesn't have Rick and Morty in it. Um, Gameplay-wise, it is very simple and plays to me very similarly to, say, Serious Sam, the first game, um, or maybe, like, a, a platformer from yesteryear. I'm talking, like, in the 2000s, I would expect the game that plays like this. Um... But I think that was intentional. I don't think they were going for anything more complex or modern. They just wanted a very simple shooter. <clears throat> um, where the game really shines is its story, its world design, and, of course, its dialogue. So if you like the Rick and Morty franchise and you like that kind of humor, you're likely going to really enjoy this game. If you're looking for a game that's like, wow, it challenges you and really has innovative stuff, probably not your type of game. I played it for three hours. I actually really enjoyed it. I wasn't sure if I was going to like the humor so far. I feel like the humor, it's under control. And what I mean by that is nothing has gone so extreme in any direction. Like there's nothing over gory, nothing over sexualized, nothing that's really insulting to any group. And therefore, because of that, it's funny, but it's not like, okay, to the point of where people are going to be offended and shit, which actually I was worried about. Sometimes Rick and Morty can be really intelligent, funny humor. And then other times it can actually be that kind of gross out humor or something that goes too far. And I wasn't sure if the game was going to go there. Three hours in, not yet. Okay. Attendance was absolutely great for the stream. I think people were very intrigued to see what the game was. Engagement was great. Support was not so great. I don't know why. Uh, again, I'm not going to sit here and complain because not every stream I did this week had a problem. But it was weird. It was a brand new release and the support was kind of slow. I don't know. Okay. But you guys liked it enough and I liked it enough. I'm putting it into the rotation on night stream starting this week. So you'll see it again over the weekend. Okay. The late stream tonight was the makeup stream of God of War Ragnarok. Why do I call it a makeup stream? Because I played God of War Ragnarok on the weekend on Sunday, and it was one of the worst stream of the playthrough so far. I literally sat trying to fight a berserker fight for two and a half hours. It was gruesome, unbearable. Me getting my ass handed to me, getting closer to winning, losing, getting closer to winning, losing. And people got very frustrated, all right? Tonight, the goal was to make progress. You want to know what progress I made? How about this? I won not one, not two, not three, 
not four, not five. I won six optional boss fights tonight. Six. Some were berserkers. Some I started to unlock this big stone troll statues. And there was even a unique boss that I fought that I didn't even know was a boss until someone told me. I was like, holy shit, this is neat that this is a boss. Um, in addition, I even had time to do about an hour of story. So not only did we do six unique bosses, we also did story. Now you might say, did I get revenge on the berserker that kicked my ass for two and a half hours last time? You'll just have to watch the videos tonight to find out. Yes, I'm that kind of stinker. I'm going to make you watch to find out if I got my revenge or not, okay? All I will say is this. By the end of the night, I felt much happier. Last time I played the game, I was upset with myself for having wasted everyone's time for about two and a half hours and being so pig-headed and stubborn. And then this time around, having listened to advice, you know, people have left comments on the videos. People have been trying to help me in the chat, and I listened to everything, and... Um, you know, came back in a big, strong way that I felt was the, one of the most productive streams of the entire playthrough. And now when I resume it, we're in the midst of a major story mission. For what I'm going to understand, when we finish this mission, the game opens up one more time to one giant area of side content if you choose to do it, which I probably will. Um, and then you head into the finale of the game. So, great stream. And by the way, support tonight, out of nowhere, a really well-supported God of War stream. Didn't hit the hat goal, got close, but... Haven't had a, a stream like that supported for God of War in a very long time. I was very happy that people did support the stream the way they did. So thank you all, okay? Now, I'm off from streaming tomorrow. I hope that you all have a great, safe, fun day. If you happen to watch videos and get caught up on the DSP gaming content I've been doing in the last week, please remember things such as liking the videos, leaving comments helps a ton for engagement. And remember, I never talk about this because I forget about it. You know I have super thanks, right? If you happen to be watching a video on demand and... You want to say, hey, Phil, thanks. Thanks for the free content. Thanks for the fun. You can leave a super thanks. And it's the same as doing a super cheer, or excuse me, a super chat during a live stream, only it's on an on-demand video. And uh, I never mention it. I get like one a month. Maybe if I mention it, people would use it. I don't know. Hey, tis the season. If you feel a given and you want to help out with an on-demand playthrough, you can do it. Okay? When I come back on Thursday, it's going to be Pokemon Scarlet on the first stream and more Warzone on the late stream. This is a very special weekend. Because it is the Street Fighter VI Second Wave Beta. I'll be playing it again. I'm going to be doing it as the three daytime streams. The night streams will be a balance. So probably Friday night, I'll probably do High on Life. Saturday night, I'll probably do more God of War. <clears throat> and Sunday night, I'll probably do Pokemon. Meaning that Monday would probably be like a major stream of High on Life paired with Warzone. And then maybe Tuesday would be like Pokemon and God of War. We'll see. But that's the deal. Is that this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday... Three major streams and nine hours of Street Fighter VI gameplay paired with different stuff at night. Why not Street Fighter VI all weekend? Well, like originally I thought I was going to do. I'll be honest with you, because not everyone likes fighting games. And this beta is essentially the same as the first beta. They didn't add any new characters or anything to it. They just said that they were going to tweak some of the gameplay based on feedback from the first one, which is nice that they're doing that to improve it. But I really wish there were new characters in there. If there were, I might have actually played it all weekend, but... I'm not going to play it six straight streams when it's the same exact cast from the first beta. I'll, I'll play it three and then balance that with night stuff for variety. So you don't like Street Fighter, you can still come back to the, come by to the late streams this weekend and still enjoy. Guys, once again, thank you. What a great week this was. We finished the Kalisto Protocol, made major progress in games like Pokemon and God of War. Um, had a lot of fun with Warzone that was completely unexpected, and now it's working out really well in the in the stream schedule, and started a new game high on life that I like. So, awesome. Everything great. Thank you all. Please have a good day off tomorrow. I'll see you Thursday when I get back. Happy holidays, everyone. Stay safe. See you soon, and peace out.